thumbs up. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. How you guys doing? I guess that means good. That's what the sound means, right? Woo! There's no sound for sad. Does anyone make that sound? How are you feeling? Oh, no. It's, it's really just that. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks for coming out. You guys are looking great and uh, relaxed. It's nice weather, isn't it? Yes, yeah, very chilled out. I just got back from Atlanta. It was uh, 107 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, hottest weather. The worst thing is everyone comes up to me and they go, well, you, you must be used to this being from Africa. And I'm, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm from Africa, but that shit is hot. That was just, <laughs> no. I was scared to go jogging because I thought if I ran out in the street and fainted, wouldn't the local news love that? I'd be running and I'd fall down in the heat. They would have their vans reporting live. They'd be standing there going, so hot in Atlanta, even Africans are fainting. <laughs> oh, I've, uh, I've been in America for a few months now, and I'm, I'm really just thrown by the place. It's uh, not what I expected at all. Uh, different from the brochures and the pamphlets. Uh, there's many assumptions I had about America before I came here, and I've come to learn that those were wrong. For one, I just assumed people spoke English here. Um, <laughs> it's far from it. It's not, you know what, it's not so much the language, so much as the pronunciation of words that throws me off. It's just what Americans have done with the language. You guys have just... Wow, you've just, you've done something. You've put 22s on the English language. You've got rims that just pimp my language. That's what you've gone with, you know? I don't understand. I was chatting to this woman downtown the other day. She came up to me and she wanted me to see something. I don't know what though. She was like, oh my God, look over there. I said, look over what? She's like, over there. Look at that her. And I said, her? She's like, no, her, her. Look, there's two of them. I understand nothing, even the small words, just the pronunciation, you know, small things that get you by. Uh, for instance, I pronounce the opposites of uncle as aunt. I say my aunt. Out here you say my aunt, which to me is an insect, <laughs> which made me look like an ass when my friend told me his aunt died. <laughs> and I was like, so what? There's tons of those out there. What a great way to end a friendship. <laughs> I couldn't get help the other day when searching for a battery for my remote control. Because that's what I say, battery, a small form of power. Yes, so in America, you say battery, which to me is a different form of power. <laughs> Sponsored by Chris Brown. The... <laughs> And you know what, I understand. We live on different sides of the globe, so it's fine. The language will evolve. This is something I've, I've come to understand. But I, I hope I change one thing in your hearts forever. Just one thing. And that is that animal in the wild that looks like a horse. It has black and white stripes. Yeah, do me a favor. From now on, please, it's not zebra, okay? It's zebra. Yeah? Just like it's not debra, it's debra. Same structure of word. Plus, you cannot name them because you do not have them. <laughs>